yes, 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 Kenyans. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Yes. <clears throat> yes. For quite some days now, there has been a talk of one Kenya alliance, or rather Oka, teaming up and working with one Raila Amulo Odinga. The discussion was started by one David Murathi, and then Mutai Nguni was roped in, and then today, one Musalia Mudavadi has also hinted of a possibility of working with one Raila Amulo Odinga. Then coincidentally, or rather ironically, a very close ally of Gideon Moy, the Franklin Bed, has also hinted of some secret meetings or other negotiation between Oka and Raila Amul Odinga so that they can team up towards 2022 election. This is what is currently happening today. And this is what brings us to the original plot. I've been talking about the original plot in this channel. The original plot, for those who can remember, immediately after the handshake, that was in 2018, those who were in the know by that time came out guns blazing and told us that this is a Kaputin kind of an arrangement. In fact, one very popular politician at that time, Simon Mbugwa, now a Yala member of parliament and former Kamkunji member of parliament, told us that it was a kind of Kaputin kind of arrangement, where he meant the kind of arrangement the current president in Russia, Vladimir Putin, had with the former, pre with the former president, hmm, Dmitry Medvedev. Hmm. Before Putin became, the, the kind of arrangement is this, ladies and gentlemen. The current Russian president was once a president and he served his full term. So the constitution of Russia never allowed him to contest again. So he supported somebody by the name of Dmitry Medvedev for the post of the president, or rather for the presidency. Med Medvedev then appointed Putin as the prime minister. Medvedev went, went for one term, and then Putin came back as the president again. So immediately after the hardship, those who were closer to power by that time told us that Uhuru and Raila were planning some kind of Putin kind of an arrangement. And with what is happening today, ladies and gentlemen, I, I in one way or the other concur with such school of thought. Because I strongly believe that maybe Uhuru Kenyatta is scheming to stay in power past 2022. Or alternatively, he is scheming to have his favored candidate team up with somebody in the name of Raila Amol Odinga to share power in 2022. This is a game of politics and anything is possible. Going by what is happening today, ladies and gentlemen, just confirms that Uhuru Kenyatta is bound to have a say in the next government. And ladies and gentlemen, the talk of o Oka and Raila Molo Odinga teaming up is not far-fetched. This is a game of politics once, once more. Let me say that. And one thing I know is that immediately Ruto started the hustler kind of a narrative I think very many people dismissed him. But as now the Hasla kind of narrative was gaining traction in very many parts of the country, especially among the unemployed youths, it gained so, so much attraction that the handshake group eh, became scared. So they had to devise a clever means of killing that narrative as fast as they could. And the first person who initiated the process of killing that narrative was one Mutai Nguni. Hmm? 
Mutai Nguni <laughs> flagged the ethnic curse. He reminded Kenyans that it's not about two communities. Then, weeks later, Uhuru Kenyatta came up and repeated the same, same words. So, Oka, or rather One Kenya Alliance, is the vehicle that was purposefully created by maybe Uhuru and Raila. Eh? And then Uhuru and Raila cleverly stage managed their split mm. so that One Kenya Alliance could consolidate their votes in their respective areas. Because, ladies and gentlemen, William Ruto's hustler narrative was gaining traction even in Ukambani. Mm. So, a strategy had to be developed to counter and kill it in Ukambani. Hence, propelling, hence, what they did was to propel Kalonzo now as the Kamba kingpin. Mm. Then the same hustler narrative was also gaining traction in Western. So it had to be killed there. Hence, Mudavu had been propelled as the Luya ethnic kingpin. And also we, we are seeing what they are doing at the coast. So let me just say this. One Kenya alliance is not a vehicle that is being used to betray Raila Amolo Odinga. I strongly believe that this is a very clever strategy by Uhuru and Raila to tame William Ruto in those areas they deemed Ruto was making inroads. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, and not only that before I forget, One Kenya Alliance also, its mission also is to help the president also consolidate his Mount Kenya backyard. Mm -hmm. You know, though this one is not confirmed, rumor has it that Raila and Uru split was stage managed maybe to bring the Mount Kenya votes back to Uhuru. Mm? Because it's, there is a wide perception that maybe the people of the mountain hate Uhuru because he's closer with Raila. But I disagree. I, I've always maintained here that the person Uhuru, Kenyatta will show the people of the mountain they will vote for that person irrespective of whether it's Raila or not Raila. If Uhuru shows them it's Raila, they will vote for Raila to the last man. If it's Ruto Mudavadi, they will vote for that person simply because Uhuru will direct them. So one Kenya alliance, very many people misunderstood mm, why it was formed. Some thought it was formed to finish Raila, which is not true. It was formed to checkmate one William Ruto. And if you want to confirm that it was not formed to finish Raila, and I think I did a video on that some times back. I did a video on that. Sorry, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Uhuru Kenyatta has cleverly checkmated also one Kenya alliance principle. Principles, I mean. In Ukambani, Uhuru has identified Mutua to checkmate Kalonzo. Then, in Western, he has identified Mukisa Kitui to checkmate Mudavadi and Wetangula. And then in the Rift Valley, he has chosen a very fierce critic of Gideon Moy in the name of Joshua Kutun to checkmate, to checkmate Gideon Moy. Mm? Though Gideon Moy is not a very big threat to him, but he has to checkmate him. That's politics. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, for those who strongly believe that maybe Uhuru and Raila are playing games, there is no games these two individuals are playing. Their interests have converged. Mm? It's all about power. Eh? And the only person Uhuru is very sure of that if he teams up with, he'll attain that power, is Raila Amolo Odinga. So they, their interests have converged and they have to work together. If they don't work together, they, they all lose. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> let me leave it there. If you've bumped on this video for the very first time, tap on the subscription button and on the notification bell in order to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. 
We upload videos on a daily basis touching on current issues and what is trending. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Thank you.